Good morning. Welcome back to our Drummond channel. It's Wednesday morning on uh, July 12th and kind of get a kick out of this. I uh, was <laughs> I, I was planning to do an update. Uh, let me show you show you where uh, I had created these little boxes here at this bar thinking that this was going to show us you know where the uh, resistance area was for today and <laughs> Took my daughter to her uh, her art camp and I came back and I realized that they were going to be uh, releasing the CPI data and obviously uh, the market is digesting this in a good fashion. Uh, so whatever resistance areas we've been looking at for the week uh, were all destroyed right here in that on that first 15 minute bar. Um, as you say, uh, over here is the 300 minute, 60 minute, and 15 minute. I took off the um, the higher time period envelopes, and I just wanted to draw on that uh, that resistance area that we identified earlier. And obviously, it's it's not holding. Um, so, what's next for the S and P? That's a good question. Uh, over here on the left is a monthly chart, monthly five two down, way up there about forty seven hundred. Uh, there's nothing really uh, happening uh, on the weekly chart, uh, but going into next week. There'll be a five, depending on where this this current weekly bar finishes, there'll be a five, one down up in this area or maybe a little higher. Uh, and then on the daily chart, where where is this move uh, possibly going to stop today? Well, there's a five, two down up in this area. And at this point, it's blown right through that. And this five, two down, that number is right around uh, 45.15, I think. So for today, at least, uh, we're looking, you know, that there might be some resistance up in that area. It's not holding at this point. Uh, we're still 15 minute C waves all the way up. Huge C waves over here on the hourly. Huge C wave on the 30 minute, or 300 minute chart. So this market, uh, if you're if you're not long, then you missed the train. And there's. Uh, I mean, shorting this market is, you know, with, look at the flow here. Look at all this, this, this travel, especially over here. So the, the flow is decisively up as well. So shorting this market, the best you could probably hope for is some PL dot pullbacks from an overextended uh, intraday uh, perspective. But, uh, you know, other than that, uh, we're going to have to sit on my hands here for a little bit and, and see how the market digests this price move over the next day or two. So that's it for this morning. Good luck. <laughs> Hope you were paying ten more attention to the to the economic data than I was. Uh, we'll talk to you next time.